Okay, we're gonna cold turkey this. And let's just see what this thing's got. See how she's running out. We got Mike in the boat. We got Kenneth on the tractor going in the tank. I'm gonna get the uh, coronator out of the tank. I'm getting it. He's so bossy. We got a pool man that keeps this thing pretty clean. Still stays a little green just from the lawn man, but it's pretty clean. Sometimes from the trailer tires, we get a little dirt in it and it'll kind of change colors after we run a boat. A little bit more. All right, that's good. Trim her down, Mikey. Does your blower work? This gentleman's gonna be taking his kids out and we wanna make sure the blower works. Some nice clean pool water you got. You don't have to have the key on for the blower to work. You gotta turn master power on. Master power's gotta be on. Yeah. Do you hear it running? I hear something. Yep. Okay, the blower works. So run the blower for a minute. Are the hood shocks on? No. Okay, so we'll have to hold the hood open. Um I might have to get on board for that. Okay, start it up. There we go. How's your RPMs? He's new at this. This is his first test with me. He knows how to run a boat. Keychain broke. What's the matter? The keychain broke. The keychain broke. Okay, we're not worried about the keychain. Yeah, no. So how's your RPMs? And we know the tack is off about 200 probably, maybe 150, 200. Seems like it's idling just a hair low. Yeah. I could be wrong, but it seems like it is. And uh, temperature's good. Oil pressure, of course. Good. Good. Okay, good. let's open that hood up, Mike, and let's take a look. I want you to look around behind the engine, see if we got any water coming in, because we didn't do any bellows or anything here. You want my flashlight? Here, take this, Mikey. Look down behind the motor, like around the drive shaft as close as you can, I'll let your shirt get in that belt. Just look for any leaks, gas leaks, water leaks, anything like that in the back of the motor. All looks good, except for our water leak. He said it all looks good except for our water leak. Thermostat. Yeah, thermostat. Huh? Hello, Bill. We're videoing this load test as a cold turkey. You know, we didn't we didn't pre-run it. We ran on the hose, but we want to get a you know we want to be honest and show what it does the first time it goes in the water. It's got a rebuilt Jasper engine in it. it. Was kind of a basket case when it came in, and pretty good customer. So we got him a rebuilt motor and got it in there and got it running good. We think. Think. <laughs> All good. All right, put it in gear. Well, it didn't die. Oh, that's What's the RPMs now? About the same? Okay, bring it up slowly. Ah, sounds like carburation right there. Let's try that again. So it just didn't, carburetor's acting up a little bit. It's smooth and quiet back here. Let's don't, hey Mike, let's don't full throttle it, but we're gonna bring it up a little, okay? Sounds good. All right, bring it up a little more. Sounds like it's got plenty of power. A little more. There it is.
Come on, you can bring it back a little faster. If it dies, it dies. We need to know if it's gonna die when you chop the throttle. That carburetor has uh, had a little problems on the acceleration, but it didn't die, or it just died then. Start it up, let's run it a little bit more and see if that takes care of itself. Okay, give me full throttle. Now remember, when it's full throttle like that in the tank, the boat's not moving, so it's lugging the shit out of it. So here's, hold on, listen to me. So it's loading up with fuel, okay? So when you chop the throttle a little bit too hard, it's, it's overloaded with gas and the engine probably will stall on most carbureted engines, okay? So when you, when you bring that throttle back, don't bring it back, don't completely chop it like that. But let's say you give it a little gas, put it up by 2,000 RPMs, and then chop the throttle and let's see what happens real quick. So that's your carburetor needing, need to be rebuilt. He's having to pump it to get it going. That shows the accelerator pump is having trouble inside the carburetor. Okay, now chop it. And it died. That's a carburetor. Carburetor needs rebuilt, unfortunately. I mean, you can not chop the throttle and you can pump the gas to go forward and it's gonna run fine, but that's a classic signs of a carburetor having problems. Okay, Mike, we're good. Ease off of it like that, see if it dies. And it died, right? So, starts right back up, but, it, but it's dying right away. He's having to feather the throttle a little bit to get it going. Once he does that, it takes off. Anyway, I think we've seen enough. Put it in neutral. Neutral. Stayed running that time. I mean, probably if it was mine, I'd take it out and run the piss out of it a little bit. And uh, and maybe idle that thing up because that tax is not accurate. It might just be idling too low. You got a screwdriver in the boat? It's on the ground still. Hey. Who thinks it's gonna be man to turn that by hand? That's good. I don't think that's gonna fix it, but step back, please. Almost done, Bill. Come on. Same shit, right? So it needs a carburetor kit. What time is it?